I can do everything. Uh, you know, play the field, run, hit, bunt, little things. Uh, I'm a grinder, so, you know, nose to the ground, I'm gonna get my work in and, and get tough out. Most athletes accept that one day, they will have to walk away from the sport they've played since they were young. However, life sometimes has a funny way of prolonging an athlete's career. For senior outfielder Tim Becker, FSU baseball's walk-on tryouts provided the perfect opportunity to keep playing the game he loves. I didn't really know a whole lot about him. First thing that caught my eye was his athleticism. He's a good runner. He threw well from the outfield, and then we got a chance to see him hit, and we all were in agreement. Like, you know, we need to give this guy an extended look. I was just kind of in awe, just being out on the field. You know, bleachers, it's Florida State baseball. You know, just trying to do my best, make an impression. It seemed to work out for me. Being a walk-on at Florida State is held in high regard. As the 2019 baseball season approaches, number 37 will add his name to a long line of walk-ons who once called Dick Hauser Stadium home. We've actually had some success in the past with our walk-on tryouts. It goes back to you know, Mike Fuentes he ended up winning the Golden Spikes Award. He was a true walk-on. Um, Sherman Johnson was a walk-on. He's in the big leagues right now. We've had a lot of success and um, you know, that's why we keep the program going. Before attending Florida State, a series of injuries had Becker thinking his dream would soon be coming to an end. I tore my ACL my senior year of high school, so didn't even play senior year. Ended up walking on at Palm Beach State and then still got hurt then. After that, just decided to hang it up, enjoy school, but you know, still had that uh, burn, had that desire in my heart. Tim Becker will look to make a name for himself in the NCAA this season, but for the last three years, Becker did some damage here at this local high school for the NCBA or the National Club Baseball Association. I mean, his stats show, I think he hit like around 500 or something like that with like over 10 home runs, but it, it was his work ethic. He would, he, like before the season even started, he was the one out there texting people, Let, let's get our work in day and night. So it, I think it was definitely his work ethic that made him stand out. One of the keys to Becker's transition onto the FSU baseball team was first baseman Nico Baldor, who also played on the club baseball team last season after transferring from the University of Miami. Luckily, I knew it's always good to have that one person there to help kick things off and make you more comfortable. I'm, I'm happy to be that guy for him. Right, he's been, he's been kind of my right-hand man through the whole process, you know. Any questions I have, I kind of go through him first. Uh, Practice-wise, cage work, I'm always working with him. Uh, timing, stuff like that, he's, he's been there, done it, so anything I need help on, he's there for me. Already showing steady improvement with the Knolls, Tim Becker could play a vital role during what's sure to be a historic season for Florida State baseball. It's an honor just to, just to be a part of his legacy, you know, be playing for him in his last year is, is an unreal feeling. So getting to Omaha for him would be absolutely amazing. Well, he can play any outfield position. Uh, the fact that he's a good runner, you know, you can, you can put him in center field, pinch hitter as a DH. Um, I'm not exactly sure where he's going to be, but he's going to be a valuable piece. It will be interesting to see how Tim Becker will be utilized this season but his work ethic will allow him to succeed when his name is called. Where he's out here at one o'clock hitting by himself, he's out there after practice hitting, he's texts me on the weekends like whenever he possibly can to go out there and hit. So it's definitely his work ethic that showed in uh, the club team and also showing here now. I can compete with these guys that you know, didn't go through the whole travel ball program recruitment process like, like most of these guys have, but you know, I can, I can be on the same level as them, just, just got to prove what I can do. By remaining confident and continuing to improve this season, this walk-on hopes to walk off Mike Martin Field as a household name. I'm Anthony Fernandez for Seminole Sports Magazine.